Hello everyone, this is Jyoti from 3rd CS. I am going to review about the book The Kite Runner written by the author Khaled Ozeni. Khaled Ozeni was born on 4th March 1965. He is an Afghan-American novelist, UNHCR Goodwill Ambassador and former physician. His debut novel The Kite Runner was a critical and commercial success. The book and his subsequent novels have been at least partially set in Afghanistan and have featured an Afghan as the protagonist. His three novels have all reached various levels of critical and commercial success. The Kind Runner spent one not one weeks on the New York Times bestseller list, including three weeks at number one. His second novel, A Thousand Spreaded Sun, spent one or three weeks on the chart, including 15 at number one. While his third novel, And the Mountains Echoed, remained on the chart for 33 weeks. In the story... Amir, Amir recalls an event that happened 26 years before when he was still a boy in Afghanistan and says that that made him who he is. Before the event, he lives in a nice home in Kabul, Afghanistan with Baba, his father. They have two servants, Hali and his son, Hazan, who are Azaras, an ethnic minority. Baba's close friend, Rahim Khan, is also around them, often. When Afghanistan's king is overthrown, things begin to change. One day, Amir and Hazan are playing when they run into three boys, Asif, Wali and Kamal. Asif threatens to beat up Amir for hanging around with the Azarara, but Hazan uses his slingshot to stop Asif. The story skips to winter when the kite fighting tournament occurs. Boys cover their kite strings in the glass and battle to see who can savor the string of the kite opposite kite. When a kite loses, boys chase and retrieve it and call kite training. When Amir wins the tournament, Hazan sets off to run the losing kite. Amir looks for him and finds Hazan trapped at the end of an alley, pinned with his pants down. Pali and Kamal hold him and Asif rapes him. Amir runs away and when Hazan appears with the kite, Amir pretends he doesn't know what happened. Afterward, Amir and Hazan drift apart. Amir, who is racked by guilt, decides either he or Azan must leave. He stuffs money and a watch under Azan's pillow and tells Baba that Azan stole it. When Baba confronts them, Azan admits to it, though he didn't do it. Shortly after Ali and Azan move away, the story jumps to March 1981. Baba and Amr are in the back of a truck as they escape from Kabul, which was invaded by the Soviets and has become a war zone. After a hellish journey, they made it to Pakistan. Two years later, Baba and Amir live in Fremont, California. While Baba works at a gas station, Amir finishes high school and goes to college. Baba and Amir sell things at a flea market on Sundays and Baba sees an old friend, General Taheri. Amir notices General Taheri's daughter, Soraya. When Amir finally speaks to her, General Taheri catches him and tells him there is a proper way to do things. Not long after, note. Uh, Baba is diagnosed with lung cancer. Amr asks Baba if he will get he will get General Tahiri's concern for Amr to marry Sayara, Saraya. General Tahiri accepts the proposal. They hold the wedding quickly because of Baba's health and Baba dies a month later. Amir and Saraya try unsuccessfully to have a baby while Amir works on his writing career. Amr gets a call from Rahim Khan. Rahim Khan is sick and wants Amir to see him in Pakistan. Amir meets him a week later and Rahim Khan tells him uh, Amir about the devastation in Kabul. He says things only got worse after the Soviets were forced out. Now the Taliban ruled by violence. He has a favor of task favor to ask of Amir, but first he needs to tell him about Hazan. When Baba and Amir left Afghanistan, Rahim Khan watched their house. Out of loneliness and because he was getting older, he decided to find Hazan. He convinced Hazan and Hazan's wife Farzana to come back to Kabul with him. Farzana and Hazan eventually had a little boy, Saurab. A few years later, Rahim Khan went to Pakistan for medical treatment, but he received a call from the neighbor in Kabul. The Taliban went to Baba's house and shot Hazan and Farzana and met sent Saurabh to an orphanage. Rahim Khan wants Hamir to go to Kabul and bring Saurabh back, back to Pakistan, where a couple lives that will take care of him. He tells Hamir that Baba was Hazan's father and 
Amr agrees to do it. In Afghanistan, Amr finds the orphanage where Saurabh is supposed to be and but and he is not there. The orphanage director says a Taliban official took Saurabh a month earlier. If Amr wants to find the official, he will be at the soccer stadium during the game the next day. Amr goes to the game and at half time, the Tabillion put a man and woman in holes in the ground and the official Amr is looking for stones them to death. Through one of the Tabillion guards, Amr sets up meeting with the official. When they meet, Amr tells the official he is looking for a boy, Saurabh, and the official tells the guards to bring the boy in. Saurabh is wearing a blue silk outfit and mascara, making him appear more feminine and suppo- suggesting that the men sexually abuse him. The official says something Amr recognizes, and suddenly Amr realizes the official is Asif. Asif says he wants to settle some unfinished business. He beats Amr with brass knuckles breaking Hamas ribs and splitting his lip. Saurabh threatens Asif with his slingshot, and when Asif slunks at him, Saurabh shots him with the eye, allowing Amr and Saurabh to escape. As, Ar- as Amr recovers in the hospital, he spends out there never was a couple that could care for Saurabh. Amr asks Saurabh to live with him in the US, and Saurabh accepts. The adoption officials tell Amr that adopting Saurabh will be impossible since he can't prove Saurabh's parents are dead and Amr tells Saurabh he may have to go back to an orphanage. Amr and Saraya figure out a way to get Saurabh to the US, but therefore they call, they tell Saurabh, Saurabh tries to kill himself. He lives but he stops speaking entirely. Even after they bring Saurabh to California, Saurabh remains withdrawn. One day they go to a park with other Afghans. People are flying guides. Amr buys one and gets Saurabh to fly it with. Them. They spot another kite and battle it. Using one of the Asans' Asin's favorite tricks, they win. Saurabh smiles and as their losing kite flies loose, Amr sets off to run it for Saurabh. From this story, we come to learn that guilt, friendship, forgiveness, loss and desire for atonement and desire to be better than you think you are. Thank you.